The Jaden Philogene saga I took another twist today. Aston Villa have reportedly had a bid accepted for the player they sold for £5 million less than a year ago. Uh, they become the latest team along with Ipswich, Everton, Crystal Palace to be interested in Hull City winger. I don't know what'll happen. I think if it was if I was him, I'd probably go to Villa out of all of those teams because Villa in Champions League next season and are... Uh, the best side out of those those teams. Obviously, Ipswich have been very interested in getting this deal done. They took Jacob Greaves, who is, of course, a teammate of Philogene Hull. They've already got that sorted and they wanted Philogene as well. And they were the first team to uh, have a bid accepted by Hull City. Everton have been in there. Crystal Palace have been monitoring. But Villa have come in. Part of the deal, I think, which took them there, they were allowed... Um, not first refusal, but allowed to match the bid that went in. They've done that now. Um, reading around it, sources in, sources, uh, around Villagin, I've said he's unsure about going back to Villa. Some have questioned it in their sources coming out of the, the Midlands, have questioned whether he would be right to go back to Aston Villa. Do Villa really need him? Who knows? But Villa are in the race for Jaden Villagin, and I'm sure... Over the next day or so, we will find out the destination of the player. I mean, there's been three different reports today of three different clubs he's joining. It was Everton this morning on the BBC, then it was Ipswich, and now it's Aston Villa. So, who knows? Tomorrow, maybe he'll just sign for Crystal Palace. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, Everton apparently remain interested in a deal for Benfica midfielder Florentino Luis. Uh, he played 30 times last season for Benfica. Started 19 of those games. Uh, he's a 24-year-old midfielder. Everton have been interested in him for a while, apparently. Uh, Leicester City, Nottingham Forest are also interested in taking him or bringing him to the Premier League. And Benfica are thought to be open to allowing the player to go. A fee of around €30 million Euros was, um, was mentioned, although that was later. Uh, downgraded to around 20 million euros Benfica had allowed him to go for so we'll have to see whether or not Everton see him as a potential replacement for Amadou Onana remains to be seen Everton of course also have an interest in Amir Richardson so we'll have to wait and see which one uh, the Blues go for should they uh, sell Onana According to the Athletics today, Delhi is still hopeful of earning a new deal with Everton Football Club. The player has been back at Finch Farm, continuing his rehabilitation after an injury last season on his groin means he hasn't started a competitive game of football for over a year. The player's contract expired with the Toffees on the 30th of June, and he is hoping to, like I say, earn a new deal with Everton Football Club. There is a stumbling block to it, and that is that under the old terms, Tottenham Hotspur would have been due a, uh, a fee for the player. I don't know whether or not Everton and Spurs can come to an agreement about waiving that or reducing that heavily should uh, the football club feel that Delhi is worth a new contract with them. Who knows? But at the moment, he is. At Finch Farm, he is continuing his rehab. And finally, Jordan Pickford should win his 67th cap for England tonight in their Euro 2024 semi-final game against the Netherlands in Dortmund. Uh, Pickford was a hero on Saturday for England as they reached the semi-final. He saved a Kanji's penalty in the 5-4 victory over Switzerland. Uh, he's now saved four of the 14 penalties he's faced in shootouts at major tournaments. That is double the amount saved by any other England goalkeeper between 1990 and 2012. That is according to Opta. So good luck to Jordan tonight uh, if England should win. That means he will qualify for back-to-back -back European Championship finals, which is uh, hugely impressive. That is it for the Everton News Daily. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you later.